everybody. Uh, welcome back to episode 13 of uh, Shapes 2. So for the beginning of this, I just kind of did a little speed up of uh, me playing around in what I referred to as my pinned task zone. Uh, and all I did was uh, bring in, you know, one of each kind of shape, uh, the basic shapes of the four, and then one of each of the colors. Um, I started out with the colors with only two of them and with only three of the shapes, and then I ended up with four, and at the end of it all, um, I noticed pretty quickly that I'm gonna need five of those shapes. So I just, you know, a little difference there. Um, I zipped through all this because um, a lot of this is, um, and I did a bit of commentary here and there, but a, a lot of this is the same blueprints going over and over and over again, and then I clear up the, the pin task area, and then I'm just trying to gain blueprint points. It's a lot harder and insane level to gain the um, foundational points and the blueprint points. Okay, it's it, so I had to kind of play the game for a bit and get all my pin tasks done. I, I be honest with you, now that I'm on to blueprints, and I'm pretty much doing nonstop blueprints. I, I don't know how exciting this is. I, I'm not getting a lot of questions or comments or anything down below. So please uh, leave me questions, comments. Let me know if you want to see something. Uh, other than that, um, yeah, let's uh, let's get on with the regular episode. Hey, everybody. Uh, welcome back to Shapes 2. Um, I haven't played for a little bit. I've been a little busy with Satisfactory. But I still, um, well, I really enjoy this game, I'd have to say. Um, so I got uh, so I got my two... Uh, which one called? It's milestone four and five coming in. Uh, all three levels. It's going pretty good. Uh, I don't have. Okay, so let's go. There. Now it'll start to come in a little faster. Yeah, that vortex is looking pretty cool. Um, the blueprint I stopped because I was going to redo it when I got to number 10. I have 3 million blueprint points, so I'm not that worried about it. Uh, milestone number 4 is now running um, two different sets of trains. I got it all, you know, um, leveled up to three levels, um, meaning that I'm bringing in three levels of blue three levels of, you know, in three levels of blue and then three, because that's the, that's the shape that it is. And then I'm filtering it through three, just um, three stackers all the way up until it loads. It's loading all three levels. Um, not equally, I guess, but it's loading all three levels and I got a bunch of trains. Um, same basic deal with uh, milestone number five is I got it all three, three, three. Uh, to me, I, I don't know. It's, it's fairly spread out, so I'm using um, a little bit more in the uh, platform units. Uh, but that's what I got used to in normal, where it, it wasn't really a concern. Um, <laughs> it is a bit more in this, um, I'm finding out. But with me getting um, the operator points, so I'm operator at 41. But the more important part is, is that I'm level 22 and 19, and every single level I get 160 I get 100,000 blueprint points and I get 10 research points to, to do whatever in the research. So I, I don't know whether it's going to become a factor. I don't know. Um, I picked a spot for milestone number six. I have not done anything because it's I got the star and the circle and the square. And then I'm going to have enough color in here. And then the main is right here because that's, that's where it's got this pillar. So uh, then... Like I just did a little montage for you. This is my pin task zone. Uh, meaning in here I'm bringing in um, four trailers of um, each of the parts. So squares. Um, I call them windmills, wedges. Uh, they call them a diamond. Uh, why is it W? Yeah, anyway, um, stars and circles. So from there I wipe this every time I need to. And I just leave the colors and the shapes coming in. And they're just coming in from places abroad. I found a really good place to do this. Uh, the blue was a little far away, but that's okay. Uh, red and green were fairly close. And, I mean, this is eventually going to change because I'm going to get um, 
uh, the other colors, the mixed colors. So this is going to be, I, I don't know whether I'll continue. I don't know. Uh, but so far, I mean, this hasn't worked too badly. I have to work outside, if you want to call these the lines. I got to work outside the lines once in a while. But I mean, when it comes down to the final one, it's still, you know, sets of three, sets of three. Um, I got a couple other blueprints doing some doing some interesting things. Uh, comments and questions down below if you wish to me to get right into them. Um, this one is a very simple. It gathers the pieces, cuts them in half, um, and then adds a quarter piece back onto it. So the upper level is the half, the bottom is the quarter. And then I, at the end, I end up with a three-part piece because that happens quite a bit, um, especially in this particular pin task. It happens quite a bit. Um, so that's like three, and then I need one, two, two different, two, two different. And then this one's, I call it the ice cream cone. So this one's three of one. And then um, just to, I guess, save myself room. I noticed when I finished this that I had enough room to put a stacker unit at the end of it. And so um, I cut my one star piece off over there. Uh, I can bring in a full piece. And that's the, I mean, that's the blueprint. It's, it's kind of a newer one that I um, came up with. Um, I think during this um, this period of me getting all my pin tasks done, I, uh, I did a, like a speed up little montage of it um, because they're all the same. I mean, really they are. Uh, you're you're pretty much putting down the same blueprints. You're doing the same thing over and over and over again. Um, I'm really sure I saved this blueprint. Well, that's just coloring. Um, this one. I'm really sure I saved it. This is just two different blueprints. Um, take the piece and cut a, cut a corner out. That's pretty easy. Spin the piece so I have it the right direction, uh, which is the way my blueprints have been running. Um, I'm finding it pretty easy. Uh, even in insane mode, but I think it's going to get a lot harder, uh, which is why I sped ahead once again, because, uh, well, I want to get into uh, the next milestone. Um, in the next milestone, it's color mixing, then we get into pin pusher, and then we get into crystals. And then we'll see what it all, you know what I mean, what happens after that. We'll see what, we'll see what goes on. Um, but I'm getting up there in research. I've got most of it. Uh, most of this is level five now. Um, I still didn't get my bent stacker. I, I just don't have any blueprints that use it. Um, but I got most of the other stuff. Trains white. I got to get that one. Train vortex delivery. I still haven't gotten that. Um, I'm not a huge fan of it because um, if I go to the home, when I'm watching this, I know what's going on. Like here comes my piece, right? That's my pin task. So I know I'm okay. I'm not running three levels for some reason. So that third level didn't get picked up. That's the first, probably the first time the piece has been picked up. And the third level didn't make it. So um, most of these are being done in three levels so that the, the task gets done real quick. Uh, it didn't take me very long to get here. But um, come back here. We're almost done. Um, a fairly simple setup. I wanted to just kind of hang here for a minute so that you can, uh, you might want to move the, I, I think I put these too close. Uh, might want to back them up to like here and then back these down a bit to here. And that gives you a lot more room. I never use this shape by the way. So just consider it to be blank space. And then I set up a train without well, such a long distance to make it back to, um, the home base. Like it's a long way to get back there. So I set up one train every 15 seconds. And that that part never changes. I never get rid of that. I never get rid of the pieces and I never get rid of the uh, colors. And the pin tasks come in like real quick. It's, it's a fairly simple, um, pretty painless process. And I'm still not making all three levels. I wonder what happened. Yeah, well, they're all loading. Oh, something went wrong. Okay, so this one's not. Wrong piece, right piece. Why are you not connected? 
because I don't have third level. This is um, part of your journey is to figure out where you went wrong and what you did wrong. So it's still third level. Still third level. I don't have a third level coming in. Ah, right here. There. So that's my third level that I'm missing. So you just have to chase it backwards. Uh, with this blueprint design, yeah, I, I, I should probably complete the blueprint. Uh, my stacker setup looks like this. Oh, let's. The stacker setup, as it's shown there. Yeah, that looks. Nope. Oh, how did I have this? F. There. So when I hook, so that I can hook my stuff up forward or backward. But here's my mistake every once in a while. I'll do this, you know, and carry on. And then I forget to hook that one up. So it's a constant mistake. I'm thinking of uh, making a blueprint that is um, left and right for stacker setup. And then just having it, you know, named properly and, you know, left output, right output. But I still find myself... Um, I'm all basically making it different all the time. I'm him ha. Six one half dozen the other. Alrighty, so we got our last pin task. We're gonna go after the milestone. After this, uh, we'll do all three parts of it, and I'll uh, I'll set this up, um, you know, as I did here, and because I have no more work to do here, uh, and you'll see uh, what I was gonna do is say uh, look at the pin tasks or look at the platform units after I'm finished the pin task. So, pin task done. Oh, okay. I failed to look at that. I got a fourth piece. And now everything changes. Okay. Alrighty. Well, then, let's do one more pin task. Uh, we'll paste you over there. So, we need... The ice cream cone stays... This piece, which is on top of the ice cream cone, now turns into a square and the red piece is gone. So the red piece, which travels from here, uh, comes out there, is no longer... So we're going to get rid of that and that. And we're going to chase this along. And if part of this still needs to be used, then I don't just blanket, you know, click, drag, and erase the whole thing. I, uh, I actually take it apart bit by bit. Okay. So now this all has to stay. I'm going to I button clear that. Uh, let's chop that off just for a sec. And we'll light all that up. I'm just holding the control key down. I do want that piece to continue being made. So there we go. Okay, so the ice cream cone's still being made. And it's coming out the right way. Nope. Did they change the ice cream cone? Neat. Okay, no. Where's the... Where's the pin tasks? There we go. No. So it's still... Oh, yeah, right. So the ice cream cone's still facing the same direction. It's still got the same pieces. Um, to go on top of it, though... So let's get rid of you. I'm just eye keying. I'm just clearing everything out, making it all come back to fresh. Uh, I need a square and I need this square, but I obviously need that square somewhere else. That's a green one. 
and that's getting put into the red, which it's no longer needed there. Okay. So, we are going to need a green square though for um, the third. So we still need a green square. So I'm just gonna cut that off there. Reset all that. Reset all this. Okay. And the, the piece still is getting floated into the loading bay and it's still getting loaded on the train here and there. That will eventually stop and then I'll clear out the train. But I want to do this in bits and pieces as I go along. Um, sometimes chasing some of this down can become... Why do I have a red? Okay, let's clear you. I saw those before. I obviously had a red going in there quite a while ago. Uh, anyway, sorry. Uh, ice cream cone comes out. Then the uncolored, I need a square in there. So I already have a square being made. I'm just going to take this, copy it, place it. I have another square. Then I need to figure out how to get across here and hook it up into here. Shouldn't be too bad. Can I make it? Yes, I can. Okay. So now we're going to have a square, but is that going to come out to the right side? Nope. We're going to have to spin it. Okay, let's, <laughs> let's do that, actually. Let's do all of it there. Now, I can rehook that up. Um, I need to spin you face north. Um, clockwise one? Yeah, clockwise one. So, blueprints, uh, rotators, clockwise. Um, these are long-made um, blueprints. Um, if I get rid of the top, it's the same thing. It's just turning it clockwise. So I could make these, you know, over and over and over and over again, all on one square. In other words, um, do the cutting, do the rotating all on the same platform, uh, whether it be a one by one or a one by two, and then, um, you know, do what I need to do with it and then stack it. And you could make huge blueprints. Yeah. I'd rather be modular myself. Um, to me, it works a little better when you're talking about all of the pin tasks. Now, when I'm doing my milestones, yeah, I, I did kind of throw them together in the spirit of this, um, which I hope it isn't looking like a totally discombobulated mess. So here's my piece. So it's now coming out. Um, it's going to stack up with the ice cream cone the right direction. So we'll continue that. You now need to be deleted. And you need to be stopped. So if I numbered these, it would be um, somewhere in here I'd put first level. You know what I mean? Uh, or bottom level, first level. And then here is second level being made and put on two. So you could call this one and two. This will be th um, one and two as a piece being added to number three. So number three is all red. And I could actually add another windmill piece onto this. So instead of this cutting me a, um, a quarter out, Right, I'm going to stop that and I'm going to cut me a half and do exactly what this did, okay, which would be this one, um, which is under blueprints. 
And that would be a cutter. Should be minimal. Can't be cut in stack, is it? I remember it saying minimal. Huh. Been a while. Sorry, I have to find this blueprint again. It's a much used blueprint. Stacker 1F, 1N. Cutter. Take Diag out. That's a large one. That's the one right there. So we will press F. Um, we can go there. So we'll get rid of this. It was this one. We want to go that direction with it. But we're going to get rid of that one. We want to come out and then go into here. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Uh, come out of here, go into there. And then reset all of this. I can just highlight and press the I key. It's a total reset. This should give me the piece I'm looking for. Now, I can't... Are these ones that I'm doing in threes, um, you, uh, because it's a, a two-level um, blueprint, you can't make it all on one platform. Well, or not a one-by-one one anyways. Um, okay. So hang on. Nope. 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 That has to get spun. So I'm going to need room to spin it. Okay. So let's do this. Coming right out of the gate. That's a big, long underground, isn't it? That'll give me the one. I think that'll give me the one space I need. So let's hook you up. <laughs> okay. You're there. You... Where that one? So you need to go to there and get strung and go into there. There. Now I got that correct again. You get backed up by one. There. Oh, that's a bigger, much too bigger, bigger version. Okay. And then we'll go here. So we'll erase that and then we'll come out. Oops. We'll come out that way. Then I have time to split it or uh, spin it, and then I'll come back around and go in this way. So this needs a 180 rotator, 180, all three levels. That's the way I've split up my blueprints. Um, uh, one X means it's one foundation, or uh, one X means it's uh, uh, one instance of it, one one blueprint, not multiple blueprints. Um, a 3X would be cut and stack, large cut, 3X. See how there's three different 
right? Meaning large, meaning like you're wearing a 1X, you're wearing a 3X. Yeah. So, um, and then within the cutter, the uh, 1X, one foundation, meaning I just put it all in one foundation. Um, three levels or two levels. Two levels tells me that I can't stack this one. Three levels, I can't stack it. One level, yes, I can stack that one. So that's one of my original blueprints. It's not, I don't use it very much anymore, you'll notice. Um, you get put into there. So this should spin it. It's not. Oh, yeah, because you don't do a 180. You do a same thing, reset. Uh, we don't want a 180 here. Hang on. Sorry, we just want to go clockwise one. Yeah. You just want to spin it once. Ah, coffee. Coffee, 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 coffee. Okay. So coming out, that should now be, yeah, twisted so that it works with this. I have a few pieces still going through there, so I'm going to clear that. Then it all comes and gets painted. I'm going to clear that. And then it gets stacked. Clear that. Okay. So everything coming out of here. Oh, I got a couple stragglers. So everything coming out of here now should be, yeah, our proper piece. Which that's what we're looking for. Send it off. Make it red. Still got some stragglers in there. Uh, then on top of the red, we are going to want a green piece. Um, that green piece is going to encompass a square, but it's also going to have a circle with it. So this one is taking off and getting spun and turned into that. So we're at now, this is the fourth level, but this is the old top level. Okay back you up you no longer need to be this and you no longer need to be blue you got to be careful around these because you don't want to erase your original color lines this line needs to be a square so instead of it coming out of here right I'm just gonna plug it out of here and, um, yeah, we'll just let that meander along for a little bit and try to and once again, just I key. So I got squares coming in. Let's, uh, let's highlight that, all that, and just reset this stuff. Okay. Couple little stragglers. Okay, and we got our square. So now that square needs to add on to that circle and then go get painted. Um, so we're going to get rid of all this. Yeah, believe it or not, all of it. We're going to move the painting. So when you come out of here, we're going to go this way. And then we're going to hook up with this square coming in, which is in the wrong spot, isn't it? Let's, uh, I redid it to clear it. So all of this uh, face north it needs to be spun 180 degrees. So let's spin it. Okay, now you're facing the right way. This guy is in the right place. So stack all that up. Uh, using this. That's going the right way. We're good. OK. 
Okay. And then this guy just comes in. There. Then we need a painting setup, which is this one. Uh, press the F key. And I have to go there. Now, all of my blueprints do rely on me collecting up the previous three levels and then depositing those three levels. So I almost always have to collect after these three. It's the way it's set up. Um, it's not hard, impossible to work with. It's uh, So then that will be piece number four. Uh, the red one is piece three. Um, this is no longer needed because I handled my green. So that's all done. I handled the green piece with this. Uh, the red piece is here. So now, levels one and two, the ice cream cone and this need to get the red one put on top of it. So this whole thing can go like so. Oh, let's get rid of that. And then we'll just continue on. And now that's going to be, let's stop it there. That's going to be piece number three, the red piece, right? On top of pieces one, the ice cream cone, and two, the blank, the, the no color. So that'll happen. Then we need it to go off. Actually, you know what? We can keep that connected. Then we need to go off and add the green piece on because that'll be piece number three or piece number four, I mean. So that gets hooked up. We can erase that though because then we need a blue piece that I have not taken care of. So we need a square for that blue piece. We need a windmill for that square piece or that the f uh, square piece. The fifth piece. We're going to need a windmill for it. Now I start running out of space because I start doing things too close. And yeah, that's uh, always fun. Uh, I need a circle. Did I use this? Yes, I did. Okay. So that circle, that circle's going there. So if I ever run into this problem where I need a fifth circle, because um, what I could have done was grabbed from here and removed one piece of it, meaning uh, I just need to remove one of the corners and then put a windmill piece in there. Um, diamond, some people, I don't know, whatever. Um here, minor, minor shapes three by three. So we're going to grab this piece. And then I have a fairly large, I can't remember where I put it. Is this it? It's not the right, not the right one. Not the right one. I'm sure I had a cut and stack that puts the third piece back. Or I got to do it um, the way I did it over here. Right, which was cut half and then restack. I thought I had it all in one piece, though. Here it is. That's the one. Did I not save that blueprint? Or is that this one? look at later. Ah, that's the one. 
Looks like it anyways. A little redone. Let's uh, let's see if that's the one. Nope, not the one. Okay, well, I'm going to take a copy of this. Something towards that effect. Um, let's clone it first. Just to make sure... Because then I need to get bring in a windmill. Which, I got one there. Uh, I have five pieces in this um, pin task. Uh, mining setups, minor shapes. Right there. Um, remember, my I'm set up for four pieces. I'm not set up for five. So I have to draw this circle from somewhere. I haven't run into this problem too often. Uh, so I need the bottom right, but it's north, so it'll be top. So I need to spin it, 180. Uh, rotator, 180. Uh, then I need to... That's now bottom right. Okay, so now I need to cut. Is it cutter or cut and stack? Cut and keep bottom right. I knew it was bottom right. Uh, not the right piece. How did that get messed up? So keep top right. Clockwise one, not 180. Rotator clockwise. Let's uh, reset you. Incoming top right. Maybe I was facing the wrong direction when I made that blueprint. Uh, you always want to make sure you're facing north when you cut up blueprints and make them and whatnot because north is the way you're going to place it. That's the direction. It's just the, it's the direction. I don't know how else to. Okay, so I'm keeping the right windmill piece. Now that um, gets... Now this is all three, is it not? It is. Okay. So then this goes here, here, here. And at the end of it all, our piece should be... I have this spun the wrong way. So cut you off. Um... Yeah, this one's not facing the right way. No problem. Not facing the right way at all. This needs to be uh, either way, clock or un or counter clock. Either way, one. Let's go clockwise. That should end up with, I won't be able to see it at the end. It won't show it to me. Um, but this needs to be spun once again, clockwise. Okay. Ooh. I want to make sure I got the right piece. Okay, two circle and a square. It is facing the wrong direction, though. So I'm going to have to put that piece. Um, that needs to be a 180. This is why I kind of like my modular prints the way I do them. Because, uh,
each one kind of handles a task. Okay, that's the right corner that needs to be in. Then the whole thing needs to shift counterclockwise one. If I did this right. Okay. Then I need to paint it blue. Which means dragging a blue. Either over there or around or something. Which is a lot of platform points. But you get all of these platform points back. So now we are left with... I just wanted to make sure. Yeah, there's our top piece. And it's facing the right direction. Okay, we need some blue. Um, so let's go under there, go over here, go up here. <laughs> yeah, it's a long way. Okay, and then uh, paint it. Then we'll collect it. And then this is our final So are we not Did I do it again? No, doesn't look like it. Everybody's all connected. So why aren't you this side and back here and one two three one two three one two three one two three where am I not everybody looks connected Okay, where's my issue? Okay, so what's this red line? Ha! Always fairly easy to find it. Okay, so the red line's doing good. Um, you are no longer needed. Okay, this is all going good. I'm just waiting for paint to show up. There's the blue paint. And then we're going to stack it. Not enough room in there. Um, Then you need to come all the way. <laughs> Can you tell I don't plan for five pieces? Uh, the previous normal um, level was only four. And that's all you ever had to deal with was four pieces. So insane mode's kind of thrown me a little bit here by um, dealing me a curveball with the fifth piece, but hey, whatever. Okay, you're facing the right way. Over nothing else looks good. Yeah, bottom piece there. Yeah, that's looking good. That piece is that way, that, yeah, yeah. Everything's good, everything's good, yeah. Just need to put the blue one on top and then we're done. And Bob's your uncle. Okay. So once that pin task is done, um, I'm pretty much done pin tasks. Uh, it's kind of the way I planned it so that I was done all my pin stuff. Um, I had all my points. I had lots of platform, whatnot. Um, 
as I've been going along, of course, my operator levels are still going up because I'm still delivering these because that's my fourth and fifth. And then I'm going to make the sixth one eventually. I, I'll just throw it together as I do it. Um, I have it off to the, oops, I have it off to the side here. Um, I have it all set up for myself. The bottom one changes. So um, that one, the bottom one, it changes. In the end piece, that red one is a windmill. Everything else is okay on it. Uh, the top piece stays. No, it changes as well on the last, on the final. So it stays the same. It, you go through iteration one and then it goes to number two, which is, um, oops, um, which is this, right? Which I just stack some stuff on top of it. No big deal. Um, and this one stays the same between here and here, right? So in order, in other words, I'm going to throw this together. I'm going to throw that together. I'm not going to care. I'm going to throw this on. I'm not going to care. I'm going to throw that on and not care. Then I'm going to get to here and I'm going to redo the factory, right? Because this is my final piece. And you notice the bottom one changed. The second one changed. They they basically brought the blue star from the from the bottom level and put it onto that level. They took out the, there was a partial windmill over there. They took that out and they put it up on this level, you know, and took the red square out and it's gone now. And then they put this piece on top. Yeah, they changed it throughout. It's, what the, it's, it's the same as it's done. It's not a big deal. But it just means that when I go build this factory, I'm going to do kind of what I've been doing here on the pin tasks and just throw it together, get it done, get the first piece done, get the second piece, the third, fourth. And then when it comes to the fifth, uh, when it comes to that final one, then I will build, to me anyways, my final factory. And then um, it's going to probably look no different than milestone number five. I, I don't, you know, um, this one came together this way because it worked this way. Um, number four came together this way where I built pieces out here, built pieces out here, and then colored some of them, right? Same as the red, colored some of them. Okay, and then brought them to the center and stacked them up and then sent them off. It's just the way it worked out. It's This one was nice and neat this way. Um, I don't think that one's going to be that way because this, this piece, um, as it ended up, I'll go get on it. Come here. Let's catch it going out the door here. This piece, if you notice, it's all, all the same. It was a very easy piece to make. Other than coloring it, it's like one on top of the other on top of the other on top of the other, which is why I did sort of a production line. Like I said, I'm bringing the trains in, and I'm just stack, 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 stack. Okay, now I've got those done, and then bring it all and go, you know, level one, level two, level three, level four, and then send it out the door. And I mean, as long as your belts are full, right, which I'm starting to notice I'm a little bit off, but I think that's because I upgraded uh, belts and stacking and not cutting, which I usually like to upgrade all three of them at the same time. Um, but you'd still, I mean, those belts are still pretty full, even though I've got cutting is a little lagging right now. Um, those belts are still full. I know you can't really get them much fuller. They're running at maximum speed. So, you know, this is getting loaded at all three levels, maximum speed. There's not much more I can do to, uh, to load that any faster. I, so anyway, um, oops, let's go back here. We're, uh, we're collecting already. This has to get to 15,000. So we'll let her run for a bit. And with trains coming in every 15 seconds, um, yeah, it costs me a little bit in trains. They're, they're, they do have a, a platform cost. Um, they're what? Uh, wagons are six points. Engines are 10 points. So I could back that off, but I like having that going in like that. Like I like having that many trains and I like it happening as fast as it does. And then um, when I'm finished, I can 
switch this over uh, to the new pin task and, you know, carry on and do my thing. Um, I think we might go to milestone number six and start off. Okay, that way we're not sitting around waiting. Um, so when I pick out a place, um, I try to find full of what I need. Um, and the end pace does need a windmill, but it doesn't need um, a full windmill. I can. I'm, I was actually looking at this one, and I'm thinking of pulling uh, my windmills off of here. Um, yeah, I'm, I mean, I might do that one because they're actually on opposite corners already, which is the way the piece is. Well, two of the end pieces for that are opposite corners, so I could do that. Run them through the red. Um, the other one needs green. So it's um, trying to get this all done with the minimal amount of platform points, meaning I will train the circle, um, train the square. I have uh, blue, red, and green, right? So my colors are close. And then uh, I said, I don't know. I hadn't really decided whether it's this one or this one that I'm going to go with. But I just put the milestone right in the center of all, just to have it somewhere. Um, so I think the factory will start to grow. Well, we're going to need star, we're going to need blue, and we're going to need red. So let's, uh, let's go here, mining. Three by three. Let's go down there. Let's go two of them. One should do, but it's probably easier if I go two. Uh, one of the pieces needs to be red and the other three, so I need to take... I never did make a copy of that blueprint, did I? one that takes three pieces and then adds a third or adds another. That would be it. So copy that. This is a cut and stack. I don't have this, do I? Yeah, none of it's just saying. Ah! Huh. I did have it. Okay. Sorry. Milestone six. Cut and stack. This one. So we want to put, let's put this um, out here a ways. Uh, we want to run. Run that into it. Coming out the other side, we're going to have um, blue. So we're going to have to make it blue before it goes in. Right. Minor. Liquid. Three by three. So this time around, I'm going to paint the whole piece. And then bring it out, put it through. Um, the other piece is going to have to get cut and then painted red. Mining liquid red. Okay, so this is just a cut cutter. Keep one quarter, bottom right. I don't really care which one I keep because it doesn't really matter. Um, and then let's bring you out, paint you. There. 
And that should give us our piece in the end. We're not getting a, a register on that piece, but that should give us our piece. We're just waiting for paint and stuff, so, okay. Uh, the train that's going to do this was this one right here. I already got it hooked up here. Um, single car, same as always. Um, okay, so I gotta come that way. Uh, the green is there, the red, the star, the milestone square, circle. Let's, uh, Let's go a little above the green. Make sure I get this hooked up. There we go. Okay. Ooh, that's a ways away. Let's, uh... Let's put you down here. Okay, there we go. And our pin task is done. So I can't do any others. Uh, there's no point. Uh, that's uh, after I get done the next milestone, which is what we're working on now. And we're just gonna put the train here. Put a stop in. Four ought to do. Seven. Oh. Get you started. And shape loader. Oh, we got a shape off. So this needs to spin 180. Rotator 180. There, that'll look a little better. Reset. Um, where are you? There. I right, just give it some space. I'll, I'll set that up later. I'll time it out. I like to time my trains out. See how long they are. I mean, it's um, depending on how many trains we got running. So one, two, three, there's a bunch. Well, that's the pin task. But I mean on my, uh, on the milestones. So I got four running on that one. And five running on that one. It's a little bit longer out. Yeah. Okay. So we got that going. Um, we've got our piece coming in. Yep, there's our piece. Uh, I am facing north. It the orientation of the piece um, doesn't matter when it's going in as long as it has the right parts. If there's another piece on top of it, then the orientation matters. And so, in theory, um, I should tra change this but um, so that it orients properly. But, like I said, I'm going to be changing stuff as soon as I get the pieces in, so... Okay, so that almost worked out for that second piece. Okay, well, we're going to need um, 
to train in some circles because we're definitely going to need these later. Minor shapes, three by three. One, two, and three. Okay. And railway. Spin you. Maybe a bit close. Uh, loading. One, two, three. Okay, there. Uh, put in a stop. And then for this, we're going to need... Oh, I two cars will take care of this one without too much problem. So we'll put you here and there. Actually, um, we'll make these green. Two, three, one, two, three. I'm going to face let's go this ought to be good not going to need you stay away from the red because I might need the red uh, here unloader Stop. Okay. Yeah, two ought to do. Let's get that going. I'm probably not going to change this. I am wondering how long that's going to take. And then as soon as he gets basically to... Yeah, a little bit before. I'll put another one down. Okay, there we go. Now these will basically run, you know, back and forth fairly evenly. Um, they'll fill up the squares um, fairly quick or is that circles? They'll fill up the circles pretty quick. Uh, square was down here. I'm going to do the same thing. Uh, I'm going to bring it in over here though. So um, same kind of one, two oh And then I think I needed like that many spaces. Load shapes. Ooh, yeah. Load, load, load. Three, cut you out. Locomotive blue, sure. And then one, two, three, one, two, three. Um, you guys are here. There, there, and back to trains. There we go. Okay. And then that train will come in. Oh, I don't like to put too many turns in my lines either, by the way. Um, uh, every time you put um, a corner in a railway track, you slow down the train. So every time... Uh, this train comes towards this corner, right? If we track it, um, you'll slow down. So then I want my unloaders up top. Oops. F. Nothing on them yet. Okay. So that should give me more than enough pieces for a four stack... Because I need one, two, three squares. 
I need one, two. I actually only need two circles. So that other one's a bit of a waste. But that's okay. Uh, those will load. And I think that's going to do it for today's uh, show, uh, for today's episode. And I will um, get going on this um, in the next one. Um, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, you know, hit the subscribe, like, P, all the rest of that fun stuff. Do the YouTube things. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.